とびっかちゅう。How's it going, everyone? It's me, Hoodlum Scrafty, and today we're playing through Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu for the first time ever. Hello there! Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. Sent out in your Cubone. Okay, typical. You know, typically it would be a Nido, Nido, but uh, this time it's a Cubone. Nice. Uh, this world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some people like to keep them as companions, others have them do battle. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. I could say that I, I, I play Pokemon as a profession. Man, what a title. Good old Samuel Logue. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? All right. So, hi everyone. I haven't properly introduced myself. I wanted, I wanted the, in, the intro to be as ominous as possible, but you already know what's going on. It's Let's Go Pikachu. Um, so we're gonna be playing through this game, and I'm, I'm, I'm God, I'm so, I'm, so, I'm looking forward to it so, so much, I'm, I'm so excited, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am, um, but, I, I, all these options, man, I mean, I know there's only eight options, but it's still cool, I think this character looks the coolest personally, but, this one most accurately represents me, so this is who we're gonna go with. Now, I've already made a video talking about which Pokemon I'm gonna be using on my team, uh, I should hopefully be following that for the most part, but I also did say I wanted Melmetal. I'm not sure. I'll just kind of go with the flow and see what happens as I do. And, you know. Um, I, I also want to mention really quickly, I don't know how this is going to work. So for this, you need to throw your... You need to throw the Pokeball directly at the screen, I think. But the screen I'm playing on is to the... My, like my TV screen, it's a really weird setup. My TV screen is to the right of me. Uh, and my, my monitor is in front of me, so I'm, I'm viewing it on OBS as I'm recording it. You don't need to know all this, why am I telling you? Uh, I've got to name a rival now. Uh, I don't know what to name the rival, I've actually got, I've, I've no idea, I haven't thought about this at all. Uh, uh oh. I'm gonna name this guy Luke, after both Game Boy Luke and my friend, the new, the new darling Luke. Uh, my friend, the new darling Luke, is the guy I'm doing the living decks with currently. And, uh, they can fight over who they, who, who, who the true who the true rival is. I just think Luke's a fitting name for this guy, you know? Normal human name. I, I don't really care that much. Mm-hmm. I see. His name is Luke. Oh, man. Pikachu's so awesome. Look at this guy. Uh, so, yes. Kyla, my boy. Your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. So, what does he say if you choose a girl? Does he just say, Kala, uh, Kala, my girl. A world of dreams and adventures, but with Pokemon awaits. Can we just... Can we just look? Oh, man. <laughs> I just realized he said, let's go. He literally just said, let's go. Can we just talk about the full screen action we've got going on here? This is just straight up full screen action. Like, we are... There's no black bars. Nothing. We're just... We're full... We're, we're in this. Oh my god, it looks so good. It looks so good. I'm so happy, guys. Okay. Um... Well, I guess we should do some exploring. So the thing that's weird about this game is we, we, we're playing it with the the right Joy-Con only. I think you're only allowed to play with one Joy-Con or one one Joy-Con, one Pokeball, uh, or in handheld mode. You're not allowed to play it. I'm pretty sure you can't play it with two Joy-Cons. I mean, I could be very well mistaken. I, I didn't it didn't seem to let me use two Joy-Cons. Um, so I'm playing this with one Joy-Con right now. And if I press X, it brings up this menu. And we don't have anything besides safe. So let's go here. There's an email from Luke. Hey, Callum. Uh, so what you need to know is a trainer, press A button, you can talk, talk, wow, really? Are you sure about that? Press X button, uh, to open up your menu. Boy, I can't wait to get started, can you? That sounds like both Luke's I know. It's a fluffy Pikachu plush, and you look at that, look at that Gengar Nidorino poster, man. If they sold actual, like, like, all the merchandise we see in these games, if they sold, like, real-life versions of that, people would go mad. I would buy that. I would, I would, I would most, most definitely import from America. I'm coming up. Wait, who's that? Oh, it's Luke. Up and Adam. Hey, man. Morning, Callum. What's going on? You've been got a weird look on your face. Never mind that. Couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today's the finally the big day. We're finally gonna get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. Ooh, red highlight. Okay. Oh, but before we do... 
You read the email I sent you yesterday, right? You better have. Check your computer if you didn't. Yeah, I already did, man. Don't don't stress. Um, I'm gonna book it to the Professor's Oaks lab. See you there. Okay, I'll see you over there. Let's get going then, guys. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, can we just... Oh, appreciate this music, man. I feel like I'm fanboying over this game too much, man. Oh, is, it, is, there, is this her mom? Oh, off you go to Professor Oak's lab, Lucas. The professor gave you two Pokemon of your own, didn't he? Okay. I want to do some more exploring, man. Dishes and plates neatly tidy, uh, tidy up. This is like... Uh, this is my first time ever playing. Oh, it's a, is that literally Oddish. It's literally Oddish. That's that's the whole Pokemon Oddish. This is my first time ever playing this game because, as you may know, uh, there's a, a lot of YouTubers went to uh, Pokemon Let's Go events uh, or po well, just Nintendo events or just gaming events like E3, all that stuff. A lot of other YouTubers, a lot of other uh, people in the gaming industry went to these events and they played the game early and they got to play the demo. I never got to play the demo. I'm not trying to sound hard, hard done by like i never go to play the demo i didn't want to play the demo and that's not even me just being edgy i just i genuinely just i wanted to play this for the first time and never have played it before i didn't really want to have any experience with it personally and i'm so glad i did because my heart I'm, i've been so nervous I've, I've i've been sitting here for like 30 minutes like procrastinating recording because i'm just i'm just so nervous oh man okay um hey uh oh preso goes in here do you think pokeballs all the Pokemon that you and I are supposed to get. I can't wait to get mine. Yeah, there was like a little fan theory about that as to what the middle Pokemon was meant to be. A lot of people are saying it was meant to be Clefairy or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I guess... I don't know if there's a run button. Is there? I can't really see one. Anyways, as you know, Presser Oak is always up here. Well, my good Pidgeys, thanks for the help. What's going on, Oak? What's popping? I think I understand you all a bit better now thanks to this. The graphics, man. A lot of people aren't that impressed by them, but I think they look flawless, man. I'm so happy. This makes me so excited for Generation 8. Oh, of course. I promise I'll give you a looking Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. It kind of just slipped my mind. Well, in that case, I don't have over head over to... Hmm? Oh, what the heck? Where'd the Pikachu come from? Oh! <gasps> it's a girl! It's a girl Pikachu. Okay. You encountered a wild Pikachu. My, my, I surely wouldn't have expected Pikachu to appear around here, but since the opportunity has presented itself, why don't we practice some Pokemon catching? You just have to land a throw with your Pokeball, try to land it on the wild Pokemon first chance to catch it. So this is what I'm saying. Hold your Joy-Con uh, horizontal and point it straight at the screen. Uh, with your Joy-Con pointing at the screen, press A to get ready for the throw a Pokeball. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know which screen. I think I might have to point at the TV screen, which if I do, means I'm going to have to turn around. And, I mean, I guess this means we can technically soft reset for our specific genders that we want. If I wanted a male Pikachu, I guess I could reset. I don't know. Hold on. Okay, so hopefully the audio quality didn't change too much. Uh, I think I'm going to have to point directly at the TV. Uh, you can throw the Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con. Don't forget the surroundings. Waving. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got an excellent first try. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, I've never played this game before, by the way. Pokemon Let's Go pro Professional, turn, day one, day one. All right, you caught a Pikachu. Cool. Oh, man. Okay, that felt really good. I really can't wait to try this with the Pokeball Plus. Um, I, you know, just waiting for Amazon. Amazon won't deliver at midnight, unfortunately. Uh, that was pretty fine performance, but the first timer, my boy. Why don't you pick up the Pokeball and give it to Pikachu and you caught a name? Oh, so that we don't get a Pokemon... What, what in the... Wait, really? Oh, that's a lively Pokemon if I've ever seen one. I didn't know that was physically possible. Why is my character just standing there? He looks so angry. Hey, wait, come back. Dab. Wait, did he... Did the, wait. Where did the third Pokeball come from? Those Pokeballs, I swear. There were only two a second ago, but there are three. A perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is that Pikachu that Callum caught just now. So wait, Callum, you caught, you caught it yourself? Okay. This is so weird. I've never seen that happen before. How interesting. I'm, I'm actually blown away. What is this? Well, my boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good um, hold of it. This Okay. I guess the middle one's mine. Okay, I never expected that. Whatever. So do we get to see what the other ones are? Or... Oh, look at her. Oh, that's my girl. I didn't actually think about the gender of, like, the Pikachu I was going to be getting. I'm so glad. 
Oh, man. I know we've already seen this in trailers. I know we've already seen this in trailers, but it looks so good. It looks... Ah, uh, it's bring, it's putting chills down my back. Pikachu became your Pokemon. <laughs> That's just such a funny line to me. Hmm, what a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't seem to like staying in one place, but it looks as though it's taken a shine to you, Callum. Why not give it a name? I've already got a name for my Pikachus. Um, I always just call them Syrup. Uh, I will say I'm not a big fan of like the Nintendo Switch generic input, but like that's a really like minor, petty thing to complain about. So, and it's it's fast and convenient though, but it does it does kind of take you out of it a little bit. But Syrup has been added to the party, uh, so that's our first ever Pokemon, Syrup the Pikachu. Professor, I choose this one. Look, you've got an Eevee. Wow, really? I did not expect that. That's crazy. So now we can check out our Pikachu uh, party. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a, it's a girl, man. I know, I know, I know. It's already, I already knew it was a girl. It's a brave nature. Okay, it's a brave girl. Um, more details. Thundershock, Growl, Tail Whip. Uh, man, this game looks awesome. Okay, uh, move Pokemon. Change name. That's another thing that's so, like, honestly, like, there's a change name option. If you want to change the name, there's no name writer. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, and then if I... I pressed a button and it made it do... Well, oh, wait, what? You can just move your Pokemon if you press R1. That's so crazy. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's just get out of here. My Pikachu. Oh, just one more thing. Now that you two are saying out as trainers, I'd like to ask you to help something. Pick um, this with you on your journeys. Oh, so he just gives us the Pokedexes right away. Okay, so we don't have to... Well, hopefully he does, right? That's, that's what he's doing, right? Oh, this is a Pokedex I've designed. It automatically records data on your Pokemon you've seen or caught. It makes an entry for each. It's an extremely high-tech tool. Callum and Luke, I want you to each take one with you. Alright, okay. I love the text box as well. I know it's super rainbowy, but it's so pretty. You'll find uh, you can just get every detail for our, uh, Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch a Pokemon to gather the complete data. To make a complete guide of all the Pokemon in the world, that is my dream. But I'm an old man now, too old to get the job done myself. That's why I want young trainers to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. A Pokedex, huh? We're gonna meet so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm setting out now. Callum, you should do the same. I think um, you're ready for that. Uh, if, I think if you think you're ready for that, that is. Okay, sorry, I got a bit tongue twisted. Okay, hey Pikachu, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, am I right, guys? Whew. I mean, the loading screens are a little bit long. Like, it's been black for, like, 15 seconds, but, you know, whatever. Oh, wow, it's cute. This is the one you got from the professor? What? You got it by yourself? That's amazing. You should... What uh, What did you call... Uh, what should I call your new friend? Syrup? It's a lovely Pokemon. My, how energetic. I suppose that means you two will be setting off on an adventure, right? I, th um, I thought this day would come soon, so I planned ahead and got this for you. Hell yeah, we've got the town map, boys. Um, by using that town map in your bag, you'll know exactly where you are. Safe travels, dear. You and Syrup be good to each other. I wonder what the ge the gender ratios are. If I got lucky and got like a... I mean, I think for Pikachu and Eevee, it's both 50-50. But I know for typical starter Pokemon, it's like 87.5% uh, to be male. And 12.5% to be female. I got really tongued out for some reason. Anyway, I want to... I guess we'll just take our first step. There's no, like, actual wild grass. It's just the Pokemon that are roaming out and about. So let's encounter Oddish as our first. Because, you know, usually you would encounter a Pikachu. Or no, not Pikachu, Pidgey. Usually you'd encounter a Pidgey or Rattata. Let's go for a wild Oddish. Why not? Um, so I need to... Okay. Get ready. And then... Yeet. Okay, that was that was terrible. How many Pokeballs? I've got 50 Pokeballs right off the bat. I've got an excellent throw. Let's go. Let's go. It's actually, yeah, it feels really good to throw the Pokeball. And a lot of people were, like, super concerned uh, that removing the strategy of, I guess, beating a wild Pokemon uh, and, you know, you know, lowering it to the point where you have to catch it. You know, people thought that that was going to be... It was going to be lame to remove that and make it Pokemon Go where you just catch everything. But I think, I think this is a nice change. Because honestly, lowering a wild Pokemon to like red health just to throw a Pokeball at it isn't very fun. I mean, yeah, for boss battles, sure, but not for like just generic wild Pokemon like this. I think this is a I think this is a good I think this is a good change, to be honest. Um I I could be alone in that thought. And I hope my audio quality is still decent because I'm talking to the mic kind of side on. 
If it's not, then I'll fix it for next episode. Um, but there we go. Serp's in the level six. And Oddish? Did Oddish gain a level? Serp has a quick attack now, though. And we caught ourselves a Rattata. So I'm probably not going to name all these Pokemon, mainly because you can just name them whenever you want. Uh, and the thing is about this game is I've seen that you can mass transfer Pokemon. Uh, it's meant to be one of those games where you kind of catch everything you see, you know? Ah, uh, because that's how you gain experience, I guess. That's how you grind. And, you know, I guess, you know, you can maybe see it as getting tedious, but I think it's fine. I didn't get an excellent that time. I, I had three excellents. Well, I didn't technically have three excellents in a row because I did fail uh, against the first Oddish. But whatever. Cool. All right, your Oddish has been caught. Um, for the for my playthrough personally, if uh, something is getting a bit repetitive and boring, I'll probably, you know, I probably will cut it out and cut it down. Uh, so don't expect my entire playthrough to be me awkwardly talking over catching Pokemon. Uh, you know, I do want to fill out the Pokedex though. Um, I really hope I find a shiny in this playthrough, that'd be dope. Uh, so we're just going to come up here. Hello Pidgey, I need to catch a Pidgey still. I don't know, for me personally, I love Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go is a game that I... I played it when it first came out, um, but I started playing it again recently. Um, back in April of 2017 is when I started uh, my my new account, and I started playing it again of April 2018. Like that's when I started properly playing it. It was when they released the Mew Quest. Uh, when I started playing it a lot then, and I had I've had so much fun with that game, and I think it's probably the most fun with Pokemon I've had in a long time. So this let's go. If this becomes like a proper series, that's really exciting to me. And I really, I really hope it, I hope it is. I know a lot of people aren't too fond of these games, but I say just give it a chance. And if you're, if, if you're watching this playthrough as your, as your first ever experience of Let's Go, you know, um, hopefully you like what you see. Maybe you'll consider buying it, you know? I mean, oh God, okay, I, okay. I think I understand how this, this get, this, this, um, this aim feature works. So I think you can point it anywhere. And then when you press A, is when okay i'm gonna try doing it towards my monitor for another pokemon hold on because i guess i guess technically the game wouldn't be able to tell where i'm aiming you know oddish is already level six man these gains man these gains all right hold on i'm gonna catch combo too oh there's a catch combo all right that's how you i think that's how you shiny hunt i've been seeing i've been seeing a lot of things that people saying that if you catch the same pokemon over and over again that's how you shiny hunt um, so let's go for another Pidgey. So I'm gonna try and do this towards my monitor, and if I can do it towards my monitor, I'll probably make the audio quality better. So... Oh, I can do it towards my monitor! Hell yeah! Okay, so I don't actually have to look at my TV. Dope. Well, that was... I probably should have realized that sooner, but whatever. Okay, so my Pikachu found something. A raspberry! Wow, thank you, sir. I really, I really appreciate that. Very, 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 very kind of you. Um, so I've done some research, and I saw that the person that, um did a shiny hunt of Clefairy, got it on like their 65th catch. Uh, and I don't have that many Pokeballs, so I figured it would maybe be better if I did something like this. Maybe as a live stream or just later on, but I think, as for now, I'm gonna just continue on and not bother with the Pidgey hunt, because, uh, I, as you see, it's... I'm only on like my 14th catch right now, and, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be getting it anytime soon unless I get really lucky. So, rather than wasting time and money, and balls and stuff. We're just gonna move on. Syrup's already level 10 and I'm not even done a trainer battle yet. This this game is insane. As you can see, yeah, combo uh, of 14. You know, I figured it'd be cool to shiny hunt <laughs> immediately, but it's probably better if I just wait till I've got the shiny charm, which you can get by catching every single Pokemon, by the way. All right, so let's come up here. Viridian City. Oh my God, I love the little, oh, I love the little like transition that comes up at the bottom. It's so pretty. All right. Oh, it's Nurse Joy and Chansey. Um, so, if I go to my bag, uh, apparently you can, there's a clothing trunk, Pokemon box. Um, so I want to look at all the Pidgeys I caught, and uh, I might, let, let's let's check the summary of them all. Uh, apparently the more the, the more you go, the the better stats they're going to get. But I don't, I don't know if we were at that point where we would get decent stats. I guess we can just keep the best Pidgey, and I think an Adamant Pidgey would probably be the best one. Um, so I guess we can add this one to my party. Get rid of this Pidgey here. I mean, I don't know. I don't really think I'm really going to be using them anyway. Um, but let's see. Can I can move Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Uh, how do? Okay, so you can send to Professor. I wonder if I can do it in bulk. Oh, you can do it in bulk. Okay, cool. So then I guess we would just transfer all these Pidgeys. See, I guess that would be it. Uh, I guess I'll send this Oddish. Oh, we can't send Oddish away. Okay, cool. So send these Pidgeys away, 
And this is pretty cool to see. Your Pokemon have been sent to the professor. You got a message back from the professor. Thanks for sending me along these Pokemon. Uh, helped me for a good deal with the research. You sent me 13 Pidgeys. Earned some candy. Uh, candies make your Pokemon stronger. I've heard some insane things about the candies, by the way. Apparently, they make your Pokemon super, super duper strong. Uh, so, having a lot of those will be useful. Um, let's see. Which which one are you? Are you the are you the adamant Pidgey? So I can remove this from the party. Uh, then you can do this with an Oddish as well. Remove from party. Smart candy and quick candy. Okay, cool. So setting away these Pokemon. Got these boys left over. I mean, these aren't going to be on my team. It's just they may as well be there because you know it doesn't hurt to have them there. You know. Uh, let's talk to Nurse Joy, I guess, and then we can check out the candy that we- Oh, was she- Wait, what? So, if my guys are dying, I just can't heal because your machine's going under maintenance? I'm sorry, that's just not good enough. Uh, well, in the meantime, let's just check out this candy jar. Um, we have some quick candy. Quick candy, extra large. Quick candy- Oh, quick candy, large. Quick candy, extra large, and smart candy. Um... Oh, for Pokemon level 30 or higher. Oh, Jesus, okay. I don't know why I've got them so far then, uh, so already then. Increased speed by one. Oh, right, okay. It literally, it's, they've made it so simple. That's so cool, okay. Let's give this to Syrup then. Should we just feed all these to Syrup? It literally just adds one stat point to your speed. This is crazy. This game is insane. What is it doing? Why is it doing this? This, these, this candy system is dumb. This candy system is crazy. All right, I'll give some to Pidgey as well then, because Pidgey's quite low leveled. Man, candy. Catching Pokemon and Let's Go is going to be a massive, like, grind, but it's going to be worth it. And th that's going to tie in with shiny hunting, too, because if, you, if you're if you grinding out uh, catching Pokemon to get candies, then you're going to be running into shinies quite frequently, and... Oh, man. This game is hype. I'm so excited, guys. So Pikachu's found something else. What have you found, little buddy? Pikachu! Oh, the scent of the flowers. Thank you for being useless. Anyways. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You must have Professor Oak, right? I've got a delivery for him, but I can't leave the Pokemon unattended right now. Can you take this Professor Oak for me? Hey, man. I, d I thought this would have been removed from the game, but whatever, it's not. Thanks, kid. Say I had a Professor Oak for me, too. I got you, Chief. Don't even don't even sweat it, man. Oh, you can just jump straight back to the lab. They've completely cut that out. Cool. Whatever. Let's do it. That saves me, uh, that saves me from cutting it out in editing. Uh, hey, Professor Oak. I got you your stuff. How's little Pikachu doing? Hmm? Hmm? It's not little anymore, man. Pikachu's massive. Pikachu's huge. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, it's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Pikachu loves me. Pikachu's my best friend. Bet y'all y'all are jealous of Pikachu. Goodness me, Pikachu seems to um seems really come to be a true partner to you, Callum. I think you've got what it takes to become a great Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Oh, so my order arrived. Thank you for bringing it to me. Hey, Professor Oak, it's about my Eevee. Its moves are... Whoa, Callum, that's so cool. Pikachu just rides on you like that? <laughs> ah, and now we have Luke as well. Ah, fine timing. I've been um, delivered uh, some very handy items, which I think we'll share for you two. Raspberries! Okay, so he doesn't want to explain the Pokedex to us anymore because that's so simple. The Raz... Okay, so I guess they want to... Um, I'll be, uh, I'll stop you there, son. Those berries are for Pokemon to eat, not you. When you want to catch Pokemon, try throwing one of those at the target before taking a Pokeball in your hand. You'll find that wild Pokemon will be so happy to have a berry to nibble on that will come much easier to catch. That's much, that's much friendlier than, oh yeah, beat them up till they want to stay in the ball. <laughs> um, that was close. I nearly swallowed one of them up right my, ah, uh, swallowed them up right by myself. Now then, you two, um, it's up. So you to decide if you want to catch lots of different Pokemon or simply focus on training up your favorites. My only request is that you have fun either way. Man, these games are awesome. I don't know why you guys are hating. Wait up. Come on, Callum. You know you can do more with Pokemon just than catch them, right? If you're a trainer, you can have Pokemon battles too with other trainers. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. Why does the rival... He's meant to be your friendly rival, but he like gets super aggressive looking when you're battling. Like he's got this massive... Like what is that? Why does he look so mad? All right. Come on, dog. Let's go. So, I feel kind of bad because I kind of overpowered my Pikachu up a bit, but whatever. This game isn't going to be hard anyway. It's an easy game. Um, so, yeah, let's get this money. Uh, double kick. And we'll just probably... I mean, hopefully we should just one-shot it, right? Maybe not. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! I feel so bad! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I feel so bad. I feel so bad. <laughs> This is gonna be amazing. I feel so bad. 
Oh jeez, then I went mouthing off like I knew everything, and then I lost. How embarrassing. I probably should have trained my Pokemon up a bit before trying to battle like that, huh? Let's battle again sometime. He just runs off. Did you know your first battle with young Callum? Your partner Pikachu seemed to like it. Yeah, Pikachu loved beating up the Eevee. Oh yeah, I should probably talk to that other Pokemon and see what it is. So I'm gonna go do that really quick. Um, and I guess with that, that could probably do the first episode. Uh, but let's see what this other Pokeball is. Uh, if it will let me. If it will, if it will allow me. It contains a Pokemon. Just doesn't tell you which one. Cool. Anyways, yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and call that the first episode. Uh, hopefully you guys are satisfied uh, with, with said first episode. If you like, if you're new here, by the way, and you like me, and you like my voice, and you like what I do, then of course, be sure to subscribe. Um, please don't talk to me right now. I really... Oh. Or, oh yeah, she, she gives you an outfit. Okay, hold on. It's sportswear from the friend's big sister. That's, that's a very oddly specific... Okay. I was going to say, though, um, I should probably save this for the next episode, huh? <laughs> you know what? We'll do it now. Uh, partner play. All right. Okay. All right. So you can brush your partner's head. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Pikachu loves it. Okay. Here. Eat. Eat berry. Eat, eat berry. God, you're so fat, Pikachu. See, Pikachu wants to play. Don't forget to show some love from time to time. That's super cool. Play with syrup. It has been added to the main menu. I like how they called it syrup as well, and they didn't just say, oh, play with Pikachu. You know, they actually, like, call it by the name that you gave it. That's so cool. Anyways, like I was saying, if you're new here and you like what I do, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. And if you also like the video, then like the video. That's what the button's there for. We're going to play more Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee on my channel. I'm going to be putting out as many of these as I can, as, as, as humanly possible. So stay tuned if you want more. Um, thank you so much for watching, as always, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.